In this question, an alpha particle is fired at a gold nucleus, and we have to show that the distance of closest approach is approximately 7 times 10 to the power of negative 15 meters. Let's start by converting the kinetic energy, Ek, of the alpha particle into joules. The kinetic energy is 32 mega electron volts, which I will convert into electron volts using this conversion from the metric multiplier section of the data booklet. So we get 32 times 10 to the power of 6 electron volts. To convert from electron volts to joules, I have to multiply this value by the elementary charge, which can be found in the fundamental constant section of the data booklet, and which is given to be 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs. And this calculation gives us 5.12 times 10 to the power of negative 12 joules for the kinetic energy. The key point to remember here is that at the position of closest approach, we can equate the kinetic energy to the electrical potential energy of the alpha particle. In other words, Ek is equal to Ep. Next, we will use this equation from subtopic 10.2, where Ep is electrical potential energy, K is Coulomb's constant, capital Q is the charge on one of the particles, lowercase q is the charge on the other particle, and r is the distance between the particles. Adding this to our equation, we get k times capital Q times lowercase q over r. Focusing on these two parts of our equation, we can rearrange for r, so multiply by r and divide by ek, which gives us r is equal to k capital Q lowercase q over e k. Let's substitute. k can be found in the fundamental constant section of the data booklet, and it is equal to 8.99 times 10 to the power of 9, multiplied by the charge on the gold nucleus. Since the gold nucleus has 79 protons, its charge will be 79 times the elementary charge, so 79 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Similarly, since the alpha particle has two protons, its charge will be 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. And this is divided by 5.12 times 10 to the power of negative 12. Carrying out this calculation, we get 7.1 times 10 to the power of negative 15 meters. This is approximately 7 times 10 to the power of negative 15 meters, which is what we wanted to show. Since this is a show that question, in order to earn the second mark, you should round your calculated answer to at least one more significant figure, then the number of significant figures in the show that answer that is given in the question. Since the show that answer here, so 7 times 10 to the power of negative 15, has one significant figure, I rounded my calculated value to 7.1, in other words, to two significant figures.